Yes, that's right. Several families are now homeless, unfortunately. The good news is at least that no one was hurt considering just how bad this fire was. Notice these massive holes at the top of the structure. That's where flames tore right through the ceiling, unfortunately leaving people out there in the cold. This is our building here, and it's a fire right here. Flames were just shooting out, and it was moving so fast. It wasn't easy for Lisa Vaughn to watch on as firefighters tried multiple times to douse the flames of a major fire that broke out at Sudden Place Apartments Sunday evening. We're all displaced right now. No power or nothing, so it's terrible, terrible loss. A total of 22 apartments and townhomes were destroyed displacing 11 families, leaving them only with the clothes on their backs. I just pray for my neighbors and hope that they, everything will be okay for them. For Monica Harris, however, it feels like a case of deja vu. Turns out one of the same units caught fire not too long ago. And this is probably the second fire, at least within that apartment building within the last year or so. Actually, they just restored those apartments. While the cause of this fire remains under investigation, Fire Chief Johnny Menifee says the Southfield Fire Department will take a closer look at the unfortunate trend. We're going to look into these fires, look into the other fires and so forth and see what we can do. Um, better education um, and, and risk management, we're going to, we're going to look into that um, as we move forward. And we are told that the Red Cross and the Salvation Army is going to be stepping in to help. So that is at least a little bit more good news in Southfield Victor Williams. Local four. All right. Thank you, Victor.